Welcome everyone, this is Zan Ta with Repo Products. Today's video is on what's new in Revit 2026, specifically wall and system family enhancements. Here I am in Revit 2026. I have a basic model created and one of the new features is how you can create walls. If you look at this 3D view, I have a typical wall here that is a basic wall exterior brick on metal stud. I use the new feature in order to place another wall right next to it that's joined to it that is just a finished wall called bamboo. If we dig into the system family and we go to edit under structure you can see that it is a layer of bamboo as a finished layer and then there is a plywood sheathing core layer. One of the enhancements to system families this applies to walls, floors, ceilings, roofs. Topography now as well is you can actually take the layer that's within the core boundary here, for example, structure, you can move it up. So it doesn't actually have to be in the core boundary. Another enhancement is the strength of the function. Prior to 2026, you can see here under function, they would have whatever the function is going to be and then in brackets, the value one through five and it was hard coded to that particular function now they've taken it out so you can go in here and change it to whatever you need um, the lower the number the stronger the priority and the purpose of the priority is so that when two materials touch and intersect they clean up nicely if they are of the same strength if the strength is greater it will break through the other entity if it is weaker, the weaker entity cannot break through. And so you'll see how walls join nicely. If we take a look at this other layer of wall here as well, this one's called teak wood finish. And it is also another specific wall type that I created. And again, I can also move that up and out. So there's no, wall, no layer within the core boundary. And then there's also a fourth layer down here of a wall that is a basic finish wall that I call titanium base. So how did I do all of this? Let's head over to the level one floor plan view and zoom in. I'm gonna go into say, for example, this room here, and I want to create the walls with the new command. So head over to the architecture tab, build panel, start the architecture wall command, Go over to the type selector and pick what you want. So in this case, for example, I'll pick titanium base finish. Up here in the contextual tab of the ribbon, you now have placement panel, place by room or place by segment. Meaning if you click place by room, it'll want to look at the entire room and find all the walls that are room bounding and place that new wall type onto that specific wall. You can also specify it to be auto-joined and or auto-joined and locked. That way, when you have openings like door openings, window openings, storefront openings, the opening function of that family, whether it is a curtain wall or a door or a window, will cut through the wall as a default, but it also will cut through the new wall that you're placing as well. So if I go ahead and I click right here, it'll create that wall. I'll hit modify to finish it. And if we go look at this in 3D and we zoom in, you can see that that titanium wall is created. So I can tab select to grab all of them. And then we can specify things like the top offset or we could say level one up to say eight inches. So we can make it a little base like that, okay? Let's head back to the plan view. If I do the command again, and I don't do auto join and or lock, and I click place by segment, I'm gonna go ahead and place one over here on this wall, but instead of using titanium base, let's use say a different one. Let's try a bamboo finish. And I'll place it here and I'll place it here. If we go look at this in 3D, this is what's the default behavior. You'll notice that since the walls are not joined together, this door and this window doesn't know to cut through. So you'll have to go back to the Modify tab of the ribbon, Geometry panel, and click Join Geometry to join the two walls together. 
and it will clean up the openings properly. Things that you may want to double check when you're using this tool is how it creates them segment by segment because you might want to use the trim to corner command to clean up that condition there. The whole purpose of giving you this capability is so that you don't have to worry about creating a wall type where you're splitting and merging layers like you did back in 25 and older. That was a little archaic and a little difficult to work with. Um, that's just the reality of it. Um, but doing it this way, it's a little bit easier. Uh, things that you may want to investigate later are things like if we look at this wall that's been created and joined to this wall and that opening in plan view it looks clean because you know the trim around the door doesn't show up here if I select the door some of them will ha give you the ability to show the frame uh, and some don't it just depends on the family if we look in 3d you'll see that this particular wall that is the bamboo wall is going all the way to match the edge of that um, wall here and it doesn't really take into account the frame as well. If you were to say let's pull this line, this wall here, and pull it to here, this is what you get. So if you know the width of your frame, let's say for example it's two inches, we'll pull it about roughly two inches out, you'll see that the wall will come up nicely against the frame right there. See, And that's a guess. Uh, if you want to be super exact, go to a top view where you can see the door and the door frame. And then you can push and pull that to align properly. If you do it this way, what's going to happen is you don't have a little sliver of bamboo wall over here. So you'll have to add that as well. So going back here, if I go back to the wall command, use bamboo wall and I say put it on this segment here, place by segment, and auto join right here. It'll do it. I'm going to select it here in plan view. Head over to the 3D view so I know that I have it selected properly and push and pull this back to where I need. And again, if you need to be super exact, go to a top view where you can see that and push and pull. So there's going to be a little bit of give and take when it comes to working with this new function, but I think it's really neat in the sense of that it's very easy for you to create finishes of material as walls on top of walls. So you can really kind of, from an interior design perspective, it makes a lot of sense that you can do this tool. Um, <clears throat> so in regards to the new capabilities for creating walls you have wall placement by room and by segment and again it, for these commands that are grayed out right here in the contextual ribbon you have to be in a plan view in order for those to be able to be used you can't do it in a 3d view which would be nice you could just visually visually see it and so lastly one of the things you want to look at is how does it work when it gets to say columns so let's zoom in here on a column and you'll see when you place the column up against a system family like a wall, it's going to take up on the makeup of that wall. I'm going to move that column back. Let's delete these particular walls that were created earlier with that new command. I'm going to go back to the wall command, pick the kind of finish that I want to work with or wall that I want to work with. So in this case, let's try teak wood finish wall and we'll say place by segment and we'll touch the face of that column, the face of that column, and the face of that column. And if we take a look in 3D, it treats the face of the columns just like the face of a wall. And again, you can select them. And you can adjust the properties here as you can see so you can treat them and use it in the same manner with columns to wrap columns if you have to as well uh, where I see this really really uh, a fun tool but a useful functional tool is you know from an interior design perspective being able to put the finishes that you want on top of a wall but also on the columns 
enemy maybe. And so those are the new enhancements to the wall command and system family uh, type of objects in Revit 2026. Thank you very much for watching.